Canada, beautiful landscapes, wild animals, and the friendliest and most open-minded people in the world. At least, that is what you would expect. But the reality is not only this perfect picture, but does also have its shady sides. In the 17th century, Canada's wealth developed through fur trade, lumber, fish, coal, iron and gold. Farms grew wheat, other grains, meat and dairy. Already in the 17th century, Canada had most of its trade with the United States. Today, Canada's wealth distribution looks a little bit different than you would expect. Not as many lumberjacks and farms as before. Today, 75% of Canada's work comes from the service sector and is mostly non-physical work with just a little bit of growth. Only a small minority still works at farms or in factories, but because of a higher interest in organic food, the sector experienced a mini-boom lately. The manufacturing sector employs 13% of the country's total labour force, in total 2 million workers. A huge problem, but at the same time a major revenue for the country, is the fossil fuel industry. Canada is the fifth largest producer of natural gas and has the third largest oil reserves with enough gas for 300 years. Canada has enormous reserves of bitumen for the production of petroleum and a growing oil sands industry which has an enormously negative impact on the climate because the production pollutes the water, river and lakes, the forests have to be chopped off and the CO2 emissions are three times higher than for regular oil extraction. In politics, it is a controversial discussion if the oil industry should be subsidized. On the one side, it is one of the most profitable sectors for Canada and without it, the economy would lose some of its wealth. But on the other side, the natural habitat for different unique species gets taken away and the indigenous people lose their living space through the expansion of oil pipelines. Additionally, the environment gets destroyed by air pollution and wood clearing. Another aspect that adds to Canada's wealth is the long-existing trade with the USA. Today, 65% of Canada's gross domestic product comes from trade. 75% of all Canadian trade is done exclusively with the USA. It makes Canada one of the most trade-dependent countries in the world. In general, you always have to consider both sides if you judge such a huge and wealthy country and wonder where the wealth comes from before you arrive at your final verdict.